Let's take a look at turning a large bull. You know, in the past, this was such scary business. If you had something large and out of uh, balance like that, it would just shake so much. You didn't really want to be in the room with it. With the new Power Pro headstock, what you're going to see here is the machine will, will actually determine the right amount of torque. Uh, we do set it up for the speed, which is very easy to do. We just punch lathe into the, uh, into the um, controller there, and it'll pick the right speed for us or show us the right speed. Um, I'm making sure that everything's locked down here, that everything's going to clear. I have a regular bowl gouge here, but I do want to show you this big one. Um, if, if you have access to bigger uh, gouges like this, uh, it's really, really helpful for making these um, large turnings. And I am going to uh, turn the machine on. We're ready to go there. You'll notice that's turning uh, about... Uh, Oh, about 400 RPM, that's what it says there. And the initial uh, startup, you may have noticed, there's a little hesitation. What's happening there is the computer inside the headstock is actually taking a reading of the torque power requirements there, and uh, so it can it can know what to do and make the right adjustments. And also, you notice that I stuck the chisel in kind of deliberately, aggressively. There is a moment's hesitation that the computer is sensing and that keeps us from having that chisel grab and especially nice uh, if you're doing a, a final cut on a large turning you don't want to have a great big catch and tear the wood up so the power pro headstock is designed to momentarily turn the uh, power off and then back on again for us and it just makes the whole process so much better so much easier so much more comfortable to do so uh, if you're into turning at all this is another great feature all right, let's go ahead and uh, swing the tool rust in a little bit closer again, and we'll make sure that uh, we're, we're clearing. I'm not right there. Um, also, I should point out that I am using the, the heavy-duty universal tool rust. I've used this for years, and I really like it. I highly recommend it. It's 35 pounds of cast iron. It just makes the whole support system work that much better. In reality, I would probably uh, take a lot of this material off in the bandsaw first and at least get it... Uh, some of that weight off of there and mass off and get it down to a rounder shape. But I did want to demonstrate for you how even on a big out of round piece like this you can do some uh, some nice work. And we'll just stay with that until we get it completely rounded down. Uh, switched an overhand grip here. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm anchoring my body right up to the machine. I sort of lean my left leg up against it and that gives me extra support as well. So with a combination of the uh, Power Pro headstock, a heavy duty tool rest, a nice big heavy uh, chisel and the right techniques, uh, I think you'll find this works out just great.